Diana covered important stories ranging from the troubles in Northern Ireland to immigrant crossings along the Mexican border. But perhaps most importantly, she anchored the coverage on the fateful morning of September 11, 2001. Her reporting helped calm a frightened city and helped get us all through that terrible day. Let's take a look at her tremendous career. This is New York's number one news, Channel 7 Eyewitness News. Good evening, I'm Diana Williams. It's clear to say that Diana Williams, Emmy Award winning anchor for WABC's top rated 5 o'clock Eyewitness News, is one of the best journalists in the industry. She's an Eyewitness News legend. She cares about every story she reads in every newscast. Diana has been a journalist for 40 years. She discovered her love for it while interning at WTBD in Durham. The minute I walked in the door at that TV station, I knew this was what I wanted to do with the rest of my life. Diana started her career at WBTV in Charlotte and then WNEV in Boston. It was only a matter of time before she came to the big city. And I started in New York in 1991 here at WABC. And I never left. <laughs> 29 years here. She's an amazing journalist who understands the value of information, the value of how that's delivered. Within a year, Diana became co-anchor of the 11 p.m. Eyewitness News with Bill Butel, and in 1999, joined him on the 6 p.m. newscast. Good evening, everybody. I'm Bill Butel. And I'm Diana Williams. We had a ball for 10 years, um, doing the 11 o'clock together, and then eventually it was the 6. It was really a great time. Williams also co-anchored with Bill Ritter at 11 and 6 and then join the 5 p.m. Eyewitness News team. The most important thing we have to do every day is be truthful. I think what makes Diana such a great anchor is the fact that she finds compassion in every element of every story. Diana is exemplary. This week to the West. She has traveled the world, reporting on the top stories of the time, and extensively covered Pope Paul. Along the way, she earned an Emmy for her special Dangerous Crossing. So they can help them. She's been an inspiration. She had that as a mantra. Let's get this right. Diana has really been a trailblazer. What resonates most with me is really her heart and her compassion. Williams has been to every U.S. presidential nominating convention since 1992 and hosted the political roundtable Eyewitness News up close. The politics here? I love the politics here. The way that she charters our course through some very complex new situations is just magic. She does it with elegance and poise and intelligence. Diana and her family went through some very difficult times over the last five years, and she made the tough decision to retire. It's gonna be hard. Um, I'm not gonna fool myself, but I've also learned that life is precious, time, is precious and I think it's the right decision. Family is always the right decision and that's what matters most. Most importantly, I hope that people know that I was always truthful, always honest to the best of my ability. She's really left an indelible mark here. I have lived a dream. I have loved my job every single day. What a blessing that is. What a blessing. Ladies and gentlemen, Diana Williams. Thanks to the other honorees who are here today. It's so good to be with all of you. Boomer, my husband is such a big fan. <laughs> when he knew you were gonna be here, he was more excited about that than me being here. <laughs> so if he tries to snuggle up and talk sports with you, you wanna run to the restroom. Um, I am recently retired. It is literally 
one month ago today that I retired. Um, so it's been absolutely great to be with all of my former co-workers today and to be with them. And so just so good to see all of you guys. You know, looking back and, and seeing that great and amazing video, wow, I really was such am, such a lucky woman to have worked really through so much of the golden age of television. I mean, think about it. We were traveling, we were reporting all of the great things we were doing. I started out as a reporter 40 years ago when I was still in college at Duke, at WTVD. And then I wound up, because I always really just wanted to be a reporter, somehow I wound up sitting behind the anchor desk. And I had some great and interesting co-anchors over the years. Um, there was one gentleman who could not sit still at the desk. So he would pop up all the time and he would walk around and you never knew if he was gonna make it back to the seat in time when the camera went back on. But he never missed the slot in getting back in that seat in time. At the same time, he used a lot of breath mints. So he would constantly be putting breath mints into his mouth during the whole show. And then there was the one anchor who very briefly went through a pungent garlic stage. <laughs> but it was very brief. <laughs> There were only a few, because I have been so blessed to work with some of the greatest co-anchors around. And I have worked with the greatest team around. When I was working back in Charlotte at WBTV, I had a great co-anchor there. And he was super smart and super brilliant. And so we were anchoring a show one night, and we got word that the Stevie Nicks concert had been canceled. And that was a big deal in Charlotte. It was newsworthy, it was at the Charlotte Coliseum big deal sold out. And so my co-anchor started explaining to the audience at the end of the show. He said, yeah, the Stevie Nicks concert has been canceled. He has a vocal cord issue and he is going to be announcing a new concert date at any time now. So you'll want to stay tuned for that. And I turned to Bob before we said goodbye and I said, Bob, Stevie Nicks is a girl. <laughs> I also had the great blessing of working with the late, great Bill Butel. And boy, what an honor that was. Bill was a great journalist, great writer, and a kind man. He knew everybody's name in the newsroom, every single person. And it was so great to work with him, to work with Scott Clark, to work with Sam Champion, the four of us as a team for 10 years. And when Bill left, I said to Bill, can I have a little piece of advice? You know, just give me a little piece of advice. And he said to me, be yourself and have fun. I was like, and? Is there more? No, just be yourself and have fun. You know, Oscar Wilde said, be yourself, because everybody else is taken. But Bill Butel said, no, be yourself and have fun. I thought, okay, okay. I, I wrote it down, put it on the wall of my office, and I thought, okay, this is the mantra. But I, I thought, gee, it's awfully simplistic. It seems just kind of, is that all I get? And the more I thought about it, the more I pondered about it, I kind of came to the conclusion it was pretty darn brilliant. Because I think early on in our careers when we start off, we, we mimic, we copy, we try to be that other person who we think is so good at what they do. And in broadcasting, you know, you kind of copy people's phrases, you copy people's mannerisms, you copy a lot of what people do. And what Bill was saying to me is, the most important thing you can be as a broadcaster is to be your true, real, authentic self. That is the most important thing. Be yourself and then have fun. Enjoy it. Enjoy every day. And Boomer, I sent you enjoy every single day. I know, Tom, I bet you enjoyed every single day. Ted and Amy, I know you enjoyed every, still do every single day. And that's the key. Enjoy every single day. I did. I still plan to in retirement to enjoy every single day. But I enjoyed it so much because of the great people that I worked with and could not have worked with a better group. And so thank you guys for making it so easy for me every single day. And thanks to New York. I mean, New York, talk about keeping it real. There's no better place to keep it real than this state of New York. So thank you all so much for this amazing and wonderful and special honor. Thanks to my amazing colleagues in WABC for being the greatest place anybody could ever work.
on the planet. And thank you all for being here today. I appreciate this great honor so, so much. Thank you.